What's up everybody, welcome back. And this question, a plane is flying north at 600 kilometers per hour. Determine the resultant velocity if there is a wind with a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour with the following directions. So if the wind is going north, if it's coming from the north, if it's going west, and it's coming from the west. So we've got four different velocities, resultant velocities to calculate. So to start off, let's uh, just put a little compass here. So this is north, south, east, and west. So a plane is flying north at 600 kilometers per hour. So that is the vector of the plane. And then it encounters a wind. So, sorry, let me just label this 600 kilometers per hour. So it encounters a wind with a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour. And the wind is in part A also going north. So what's going to happen? Well, the wind is going to help the plane gain more speed because it's going in the same direction. So you can just add the wind vector right on top of the plane vector. This wind vector is 100 kilometers per hour. So what's the resultant velocity going to be? Well, with the plane going 600 kilometers per hour, plus the help from the wind of 100 kilometers per hour, it means that the plane is going to be going 700 kilometers per hour. So the answer for part A, the resultant velocity of the plane is 700 kilometers per hour north. Remember, they're asking for a velocity, so you got to have the speed and the direction as well. Now what about part B? What if the wind is coming from the north? And that's one thing you got to start realizing in these questions. Sometimes they'll give you the direction at which the wind is going, like in part A, it's going north. Sometimes they'll be telling you it's coming from the north or from a certain direction. And whenever you see that, that it's coming from a certain direction, it just means it's going in the exact opposite direction. So if a wind is coming from the north, then what it really means is that the wind is going south, right? Coming from the north, going south. So for part B, this diagram would look different because the plane is going 600 kilometers per hour north still, but the wind now is going 100 kilometers per hour south, the opposite direction. So what's the result in velocity going to be? Well, the result in velocity, the plane is going north, wind is going south, so the wind is slowing down the plane. And it's in the exact opposite direction, so it's slowing it down by 100 kilometers per hour, so the resultant, the plane, is going to be going 500 kilometers per hour north. That is the answer to part B. Right? plane is going north, but the wind is coming from the north, so it's against it, so it's slowing down the plane by that exact speed of the wind because it's in the exact opposite direction. What about part C? What if the wind is blowing west? Well, now it gets a little bit more complex. So this is still the plane. The plane is still going 600 kilometers per hour north. But now it's encountering a wind that is going west. So this is 100 kilometers per hour. So the result in velocity is going to be from here to here. So now notice it's a little bit more complex because what we're going to have to do now to find this velocity, well, to find the magnitude, we could use Pythagoras' theorem, right? Because this is a right angle triangle. We got north and we got west. That's a perfect 90 degrees right there. And then we're going to have to find this theta here in order to get the direction of the result in velocity because we can't just get the speed. we got to have the direction as well. So let's start off by getting the magnitude of that result in velocity. So we can use Pythagoras' theorem. So the hypotenuse squared is equal to 100 squared plus 600. 
squared. Okay, and when you do that calculation, you end up getting 608 kilometers per hour. So that is the speed of the plane, the resultant speed, the resultant ground speed. We also need the direction, so we gotta solve for this theta. Notice again, right angle triangle, we can solve for this theta using tan. Tan of theta is basically the opposite, which is 100, over the adjacent, which is 600. And so when you inverse 10, that ratio, you would end up getting approximately 9.5 degrees. So this here is 9.5 degrees, and the speed is 608 kilometers per hour. So the answer to C is 608 kilometers per hour. What about the direction? How do we use this 9.5 degrees? Well, if you think about it, it's 9.5 degrees to the left of north. So if we go on this compass here, basically the plane is going this way. And this angle here is 9.5 degrees. Same thing, because this is north, this is north, 9.5 degrees to the left. So the way we state that is we say it's north, but 9.5 degrees to the west. Right, so north, but 9.5 degrees to the west. And that there is the answer to part C. That is the velocity of the plane. We got the speed and we have the direction. Now, what if the wind is blowing from the west? So it's not going towards the west, it's blowing from the west. Well, all that means is that the wind is gonna be going in the opposite direction. So to draw, the diagram for that, the plane is still going at 600 kilometers north. Let me erase this speed as well because we're going to be going through it. But the wind now is going towards the east, right? It's coming from the west. So this here would be 100 kilometers per hour. This is still 600 kilometers per hour. And now the plane is going in this direction. Well, notice that this is pretty much the same triangle that we had before. It's still a 90 degree angle triangle. So if you do Pythagoras, you'll still get 608 kilometers per hour. And if you solve for this theta, do the inverse of 10 of the opposite over the adjacent, you would still get 9.5 degrees. So the speed for part D is the same as part C. The direction is gonna be different though, because it's now 9.5 degrees to the right. Of north so this here is 9.5 degrees so for the direction what we say it's uh, north 9.5 degrees east and that is the answer to part D so just be careful with these questions whether they're giving you the wind velocity going towards a certain direction like in part A and part C or it's coming from a certain direction and if it's coming from a certain direction, then it's going in the exact opposite direction.